problem like this, and they say, oh, well, in the last problem, all I did was multiply by the radical of my denominator, right? So I'd do the same thing. Multiply by the cube root of 4x squared, correct? That would make sense. That's what we did in the last problem. But that's not the reason, Elijah, why we did that. If you guys notice, if I was to multiply these, I would get the cube root of 4 squared x to the fourth. Can I take the cube root of 4 squared x to the fourth? No. no. I need to get this to be the cube root of 4 cubed x cubed. That's what I want, right? Don't want that. I want this. So if you did something like this, your thinking is right. You have to it has to be the cube root, right? Because that's the cube root. That's the cube root. You can only multiply when the indexes are the same. But I don't want to multiply by 4. I want to get, because that gives me 4 squared, I want to get to 4 cubed. So I need to multiply by 4 raised to what power? 2. two. And then should I, rate, should I have x to the squared, or what should I raise x to? To the first. And in reality, guys, um, yeah, you could have. I should have done that. That would have. I didn't even. I was so thinking of doing a different problem. I didn't even think about it. But yes, multiplying, simplifying the x's would have been your preferred method. Yes. But either way, let's just do it how I did it, and then we'll simplify our answers. So it's not wrong the way that I'm doing it, but the reason why I tell you to simplify your answer first is because it's just easier to simplify first than later. But we can do it this way as well. So that's 4 squared is really 16. All right, 16 times 7. 7, that would be 42, so it would be 112. 112, 102. 102. 112. <laughs> you were smart. So the reason why I like to write this out as 4 x cubed, 4 cube root of 4 cubed x cubed is because you guys can see that these, that you can take the cube root of 4 cubed and x cubed, right? And then up here, this just remains uh, the exact same. So your final answer is that. So you guys see how there's a difference based on what your denominator is, if it's cubic or square or cortic?